Today we're going to talk about how to speak like a leader. Hey everybody, it's me Henry and welcome to my channel. This is the channel to help you to improve your speaking skills and bring more impact to the audience. And today we're going to talk about the tips how to speak like a leader. It's not easy to become a leader. You can see a good leader can bring the team members to the better future and to be more excellent with their qualifications as a leader and through their communication skills. And on the flip side, you can see a bad leader can bring disaster to the team members and bring them to one-way ticket, which is hell. Huh? For example, a leader. Now, you may know who is this leader. A leader who wants to say this. During this pandemic, if you want to cure the COVID-19, drink Clorox. <coughs> and the Clorox can cure it, can kill the virus. Now at this moment, don't blame the followers. They'll just follow. Don't blame them. They don't have the ability to feel them, to think the statement, whether it is acceptable or not acceptable, reasonable or not reasonable. Now, in this world, believe it or not, there must be someone who really will follow exactly the leader saying and drink the Clorox. And in the end, what will happen? One way ticket to hell. And from here, you can see the power of words from the leaders. Regardless, you are religious leader, politics leader, or the organization leader. So choose your words wisely if you are already a leader or going to be. And for those who want to learn how to speak like a leader, you are at the right channel, right video. I'm gonna share with you the tips, how to speak like a leader, because leaders, they speak differently. Now, here we are, tip number one, concise statement. A good leader will make the long story short and let the audience, let the team members, they can easily to understand and pick up the message and proceed the instruction in the end to complete the task to achieve the goal. For example, how a leader to deliver the message to the team member in the end to complete the task. A client, Miss Alice, she wished to receive the parcel at 2 p.m. And I'll just let my team member to know, please deliver this parcel to Miss Alice at 2 p.m. That's it. Done. Concise statement. We're not gonna tell the long story. Her husband is mm -hmm. busy and the dogs, mm -hmm. they are not happy. And Miss Alice, she's busy huh? after 2 p.m. Done. Just let your team member know what is exactly the message to achieve the goal, to complete the task. Send this parcel to Miss Alice by 2 p.m. Done. Get clear message. And this is just an example. Just keep the message short, straightforward, so that your team members, they can easy to understand. And tip number two, able to connect to the main goal. Now you can see a leader who is able to think differently, who can see far, can see the vision, what we are going to achieve, and able to communicate with the team member, team A, team B, and team C. And three teams together, they have different role, different responsibility, and a leader able to connect all and give the message to combine everything, combine all team to achieve the final goal. For example, manufacturing, the main focus is the production on the certain time limit and to achieve the certain amount of the production. And the planner, they need to plan well when to deliver the task. And the purchasing, they need to arrange the profit and loss. And as a leader, you need to able to connect everything and to achieve the final goal, which is deliver on the time and make the best profit out of it. So a great leader is able to communicate with each team and in the end to achieve the final company's goal. And tip number three, open for ideas. A great leader not necessarily need to speak all the day. A great leader needs to be an active listener. Listen the ideas from the team members. You need to be open for ideas. It doesn't mean I am the best and my idea is the best one. Everyone, you need to listen to me. No, that is some people call it as boss. Boss is I have the money, I pay you for the job, you listen to me. A good leader is open 
for ideas. If anyone's idea is better than mine as a leader, I'm totally fine with this because what we want is to achieve the goal with any idea, any great idea. I'm totally fine with that. And sometimes the team members' ideas might not as good as yours, but you have to listen as well if you have the time because it makes them feel they are being heard by the leader so that they will continue to think about it and to contribute more ideas to the leader. And tip number four, responsibility. A good leader is not going to blame. A good leader is going to solve the problem, is going to be responsible all the statement from the leader. Now you see, a good leader is not going to say, this is not my problem, this is your problem, this is your problem, this is your problem, all false. Everything is from the team members. I'm the only right person because I have the money. I pay all of you to solve my problem. If there is a problem, definitely it's your problem. I don't have any problems. So good leaders, they don't communicate in that way. A good leader, they were responsible with all the statements they have made. So you can see great leaders, they will say, let's fix this instead of blaming. Elon Musk, he once said this. It is completely fine to have a mistake, to have a problem. But the trick is how fast we're gonna fix the problem. They're not gonna spend time to blame anybody else. They're gonna communicate with team members how fast we can solve this problem. Spend your time wisely and choose your words wisely, especially you are a leader. And tip number five, emotion control. This is hard because we are human, we have an emotion, but if you are a leader, it is very important to control your emotion because you are the top guy and the followers, your workers, your people, your members, they will follow exactly what you are doing. If you cannot control your emotion and you are high tempo to what happened to your team members, be a role model, choose your words, wisely you can see words they can lift people up and at the same time they can tear people down especially you are a leader and if for the ordinary people they can easily release their stress or their temper to anybody else especially their family members their friends easily but as a leader you cannot do that your words can bring the impacts to the team member good or bad they are the same. Become, speak like a leader. We based on facts, based on data. We eliminate the emotion. With all the positive energies in the communication with the team members and your team members, they will continue to generate more values. If you continue to inject a negative energy to your team members, it's definitely a bad idea. I'll be very sure your team member will not last long. Trust me. Well, those are the five tips how to speak like a leader. You may take it as a reference and put it into practice. And if you find values and learn something from this video, you gotta smash the subscribe button and turn on all the notifications so that you're not gonna miss out any videos just like this from this channel. And most importantly, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. I would love to reply to your comments and read your comment. And I hope to see you in the next video.